Hold on tight, turn up that elevator music and get ready for a whole new mode of space exploration. Forget rocket launches, we're talking about to space. Yeah, that's right. We already use elevators to reach incredible heights in our tallest buildings. So, what if we took that idea a bit further, right into space? Imagine taking a cheap vacation to space. A space elevator would make it possible. But before you pack your bags, there are a few things we need to figure out. How much would it cost? Do we even have the technology? And what would we gain by building an elevator to space? Okay, so to build our space elevator, the first thing we'd need is a really tall structure. But how tall are we talking? Well, let's start with the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest structure we've ever built. It's 829 meters tall. Now, hold on to your space helmets, because a space elevator would need to be at least 35,786 kilometers tall. That's more than 40,000 times taller than anything we've ever built. The elevator would need to reach something called geostationary orbit. This is the point where an object orbits Earth at the same speed that the Earth rotates. Basically, it makes sure our space elevator always stays in one place. Next, we'd need to launch a satellite into this geostationary orbit. From there, we'd lower a cable, or a ribbon, all the way down to Earth, attaching it to our starting point. And clamped to this ribbon would be an elevator car, designed to carry people and cargo up and down, revolutionizing space travel. Forget rockets. Right now, sending one kilogram of cargo into space costs about $20,000. But with a space elevator, that cost would drop to just $200. Imagine that. Once we have our space elevator, we could build space stations at the top. This would allow us to launch space missions without the high costs of propelling through Earth's atmosphere. And here's where things get even more interesting. By placing giant solar panels along the ribbon, we could collect massive amounts of solar energy. Space-based solar panels are much more efficient than those on Earth, and the energy could be beamed back to Earth for use. But before you start planning your cheap vacation to space, there are some challenges we need to overcome. The main issue? The ribbon itself. It needs to be lightweight, stable, and stronger than anything we can currently produce. If it breaks, we could have a catastrophe on our hands. If it snaps near the base, the satellite would be pulled into space. If it breaks near the top, the ribbon would fall back to Earth, potentially wrapping around the planet and creating hazardous space debris. So, what's the solution? One idea is to test the concept first. With less gravity and no atmosphere, a lunar space elevator could be easier to build. But that's a topic for another. Once we overcome these hurdles, a space elevator could unlock a new era of space exploration, making it affordable and accessible to everyone. The possibilities are endless. Imagine traveling to space for a fraction of the cost, or even starting colonies on other planets, launching missions directly from the top of our elevator. So what do you think? Could a space elevator be the key to our future in space? Before you leave, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this journey. Got questions or ideas for future videos? Drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And hey, don't keep all the fun to yourself. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Spread the curiosity. Lastly, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss out on more mind-blowing content like this. See you in the next video, and as always, stay curious.